500 of Deflategate. And recently on the Dan Patrick Show, NFLPA Executive Director Demora Smith said that Tom Brady made a very generous offer to settle the case. Tom. I think made a great offer to settle these cases. The league didn't want to do it because he refused to throw his trainers under the bus. Look, Tom's a stand-up guy, and he made a settlement offer to resolve this. The league chose not to take it, and that's where we are. Mr. Smith, what do you make of this? Nothing. I don't care what DeMora Smith has to say on this matter. He's lucky he's involved in this situation as far as I'm concerned. Tom Brady has his own lawyers. I don't understand why DeMora Smith feels the need to ingratiate himself into the equation unless there's an ulterior motive, which we all know is, to, is the case. The fact of the matter is, is that, you know, DeMora Smith uh, is trying to retroactively go about the business of accomplishing something he failed to do during collective bargaining negotiations, and that is drastically diminish, if not complete out, eradicate the power of Roger Goodell as commissioner the National Football League. I understand that. I understand the agenda. But to hide behind Tom Brady, uh, to sit up there acting all self-righteous as if this is really about Tom Brady when he knows good and damn well it's not, uh, it's just a bit nauseating to me as far as I'm concerned because I think that it's something that, that, that it's, it's, it's the latest example of the relationship between DeMora Smith and Roger Goodell and how they are as far apart as the Pacific Ocean in terms of their personal relationship with one another, the antagonism and the cynicism that exists with both parties. Um, and I hold DeMora Smith primarily responsible for that. Roger Goodell is not an innocent bystander in this equation by any stretch of the imagination. I am quite sure there are things that he could have done differently. But he is the commissioner of the National Football League. Uh, he is answerable to 32 owners. They have empowered him. Everybody knows this. And as a result, he's pretty much doing their bidding. And his primary responsibility is to protect and to uphold the integrity of the game of the National Football League. Demora Smith knows this, just like Gene Upshaw, his predecessor, knew this. Did Gene Upshaw do everything right? Probably not. Was he absolutely flawless and perfect? Probably not. But there's something to be said about ingratiating yourself with the commissioner, maybe not too much, but enough where every single thing doesn't have to be a legal issue. And yet, Demora Smith has changed it exactly to that. Every time we turn around, there's a court issue. Every chance we get, we see Demora Smith um, in, in, you know, in, involved in, in some form of litigation in some capacity. And to me, it's just, uh, it's just the latest example of that. So to sit up there and to talk to us about how Tom Brady made a proposal, but you don't want to tell us what it is, then why tell us anything? And why tell us now? It's just nonsense. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm not trying to hear from Demora Smith. And by the way, going on these other shows, let them come on first take. Let's answer some of those questions. You understand? Know D.C. ain't far from Bristol. What you hiding for? You know, I mean, that's the way I'm looking. I got my own national radio show. DeMora Smith is welcome to come on there anytime he wants. He has an open invitation. Bet you he won't take it most of the time. I promise you that. Mm. You understand? Because that's a hot seat, baby. Make no mistake about it. But it is what it is. Uh, and in the end, it's just to me much ado about nothing. Just the latest example of people coming to the defense uh, of Tom Brady. And as far as I'm concerned, the more people that stand up and come to his defense, the more guilty Tom Brady appears, the more desperate he appears. Now, hold on just a second. You, you've, you've made about 17 points. I've got to undo here, but I've got to get really back to the radio I really made about three, point. but go ahead. I really made <laughs> okay. about three, but go ahead. So, so are, are you offended that D. Smith has done Dan Patrick's radio show and he refuses to do yours or avoids doing, doing Absolutely. yours? Absolutely. Well, well let, me say, let me say this right now. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> let me tell you something. Unlike the Dan Patrick's of the world and others, I, res you know, I shouldn't say unlike Dan Patrick because I have a lot of respect for Dan Patrick. But so I want to say this. I want to say this. I respect the hell out of Dan Patrick. As far as I'm concerned, ESPN is what it is today in, in large part due to the greatness of a Dan Patrick. I respect my colleagues. I'm not in any way denigrating or pointing the negative finger in his direction at all. His stature has been established. I'm simply saying that you see a lot of people going to people they're comfortable with and they like as opposed to people who they may not be that comfortable with because of the positions that we take. I hold it as a badge of honor, as you know, well know, Skip, when people want to avoid me. That's more time for me to talk. As far as I'm concerned, guests take up time for me talking. So mm. it doesn't bother me when they don't come. Mm. Don't fade, well, doesn't we should phase get me at all. guests on this show, I guess. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, so, we get enough okay. guests on this okay. show, and I certainly yeah. get guests on my radio That's show. That's true. You do. Okay, now back to your point. 
Remember, what D. Smith is saying here and said on Dan Patrick and has said before on Mike and Mike, this wasn't a declaration, another declaration of war on Roger Goodell. He's talking about a potential compromise that was offered earlier, I don't know how far back, by Tom Brady. And you say, well, w w tell us what it was. Well, I thought in the past he'd already made it pretty clear that Tom Brady was willing to settle, but not at all willing to, to take any guilt, that there'd be no admission or confession of guilt here on Tom Brady's behalf, that, that he would be willing. I, I assume he would have taken a couple of games suspension if he didn't have to admit guilt because he wanted to clear his name, his legacy, his resume, and, and still get, you know, go forward with the football season last year or what, whatever it be, get, get rid of this, get himself out of court. And no, he's not going to throw the trainers, in case the, the ball boys, the equipment people, under the bus because Tom Brady said from the start he's not aware of a single bit of wrongdoing on their part. So why, why would he throw them under the bus? He, he can't because he doesn't want to admit their guilt any more than his own because he doesn't know of their guilt. That's what he stated uh, a dozen times before. So, so why is that so shocking to you? Why? Well, first of all, it's a couple of things. Number one, um, <clears throat> my issue with Demoris Smith has nothing to do with Tom Brady. It's just the latest and an example of how everything turns into a legal issue. I am somebody who's been covering collective bargaining for over 20 years. And I have a problem with the fact that everything, that, that labor negotiations is at the helm of everything as opposed to labor relations. It's not just his job to be in court all the damn time. It's his job to ingratiate himself with the commission and the National Football League in a fashion that speaks to a relationship that's taking place. So the coffers, the financial coffers of the players is not being compromised. Tom Brady and Deflategate, from my understanding, has cost the Players Association millions. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with the issue of deflated footballs regressing to a point where it's taking millions of dollars out of the coffers of players. That's my issue. And I think that it's something that DeMora Smith could have worked to alleviate in a better fashion. Not saying completely or whatever, but I think he could have worked it out better if he had done a portion, I'm not saying he doesn't do his job, because he's obviously exceptional in some areas, but as it pertains to cultivating the kind of relationship where you're not costing the players you represent so much money, I think he could do a better job of that. That is my lone issue with the Morris Smith, that he, to me, turns everything into a legal issue because that is where he is comfortable, that is where his bread is buttered, but unfortunately it's at the expense of a bevy of players whose names are not Tom Brady. As it pertains to Tom Brady, his position is his position. I don't believe him because don't tell me that you didn't know anything about the footballs being deflated. Now, I don't believe he should be suspended for four games. I think the commissioner was excessive. I think it's much ado about nothing. But just don't act like innocent aid, like you're poly purebred, like nothing about Maybe you, you is stained. I don't, well, I don't believe it. Well, I, do. I don't believe it. And you do. I respect that. I don't believe him. How much more clear can I be? You get the football okay, snapped to you. You hand it off to the running back. You throw okay. it to tight ends and receivers, and you have we no clue. Okay. None. But, I don't believe it. Okay, but now you're saying that you want D. Smith, as the head of the Players Association, to be friendlier with Roger Goodell. To I'm have saying, no, better no, relations, listen. to get closer to him well, but, so but these things don't Tom wind Brady up the in only court. Issue. Because Tom Brady isn't the only issue, A. And B, Tom Brady's got lawyers. I, you got I agree lawyers. With that. Okay, that's I fine. Mean, what, that's what, a whole what, other issue. What, 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 if you are DeMora Smith, okay. why are you involved? Okay. Tom Brady has lawyers. He has the best. You just said it. He has the former solicitor general. He did. You, you have attorneys. Yep. Why are you spending the players' money? Well, I've said why that are from you the doing start. that? Tom's got enough money. His wife has enough money. They could represent themselves here. I, that's, that's all fine. I'm saying. Okay, that's fine. But you know and I know that into the distant past, there have been predecessors of D. Smith's as head of the union who have been a little too friendly with that I current agree with commissioner. That. So you don't want that. that. No player wants that. 
I agree with that. And that's why I said you don't want to completely imitate or emulate the late Gene Upshaw, God rest his soul. You but what it. you don't want to do is go in the complete opposite direction yep. and, and be straight nuclear when you are still representing the players and you know good and well. Listen, if the players are so lethal, if the players are so potent and so powerful, why did DeMora Smith, look, have you ever really skipped, and I'm, I'm, I'm asking rhetorically and facetiously because I know that you have because of how thorough you are. But I ask you rhetorically, have you seen the collective bargaining agreement? Are you trying to tell me that the players didn't get taken to the woodshed? Have you seen this collective bargaining agreement? Have you seen what the owners want won in the collective bargaining negotiations? My response to that is this. Where was DeMora Smith then? You're trying to retroactively go about the business of correcting things you weren't able to put off, to pull off during collective bargaining negotiations. No doubt, I'm not questioning the man's competence because you got 32 owners against 1,600 plus players and his job is exponentially harder. But the fact is, you didn't pull it off. And it's clear what you're trying to do. You're turning everything into a legal issue because what you want to do is retroactively go about the business of capturing stuff that you weren't able to pull over, pull off during negotiations. That's your damn problem. Okay, you but didn't wait do a second. It. In the end, in the 11th hour of those last negotiations, at some point, D. Smith has to put it to a vote of his player reps, 32 of them. And if my memory serves, only one voted no that fateful night that they Ryan accepted Clark. it, Ryan Clark. That's exactly. Right. So right, yeah, what can but, but, D. Smith do at that point? But that's he has my to point. say, okay. But Skip, that's my point. My, I, again, I am not questioning his competence. This is, and it, listen, I'm a black man, Skip. This man is a black man heading to the, the Players Association. I'm proud of D. Moore, DeMora Smith and what he has accomplished as an individual with his life. I'm not trying to disrespect this man. I am simply making the point that because you represent so many players, there's but so much power that you have. And as a, because you're at their mercy and all their interests are not the same. So if you know this, then it's incumbent upon you even more so to cultivate some kind of relationship with the commissioner where everything isn't a legal issue. So you're not spending the player's money on the flake gate. My God, it's over 16 months. I mean, millions of dollars. You're costing the play. I am up here on national TV going off about this, not because of the competence of DeMora Smith, which is not to be questioned, not because of his intent. I understand that the man is an honorable man. I'm not trying to disrespect him. I am saying you are compromising, in my opinion, the interest of the players by going all out with Tom Brady on this when Tom Brady already has his lawyers and already has his money. And there's a whole bunch of dudes that can't afford the kind of defense okay, that Tom Brady can right. afford. Okay, just That's remember, my problem. Just remember, this isn't just about that one dude, that superstar That's what quarterback. I'm saying. Remember, it's That's a much bigger issue. If somehow Roger Goodell gets defeated at the highest level, at the Supreme okay. Court level, which I think is highly right. possible, Okay. Pandora's box That's flings fair. open. It would be a momentous, life-changing decision right. and victory right, for the Players Association. Even the rank, and file, hold, hold the rank and file Skip, players would it. win hugely. Skip, you did this where I'm going right now. You did this. I don't want, because we all know you ain't going away. We all know you're going to be on TV, you're going to be on radio, you're going to be doing your thing. When a player sits up there because he can't stay off the weed mm -hmm. or he gets involved in some domestic violence incident or a DUI mm -hmm. and all of this other stuff. I don't want to hear nobody complaining about what Roger Goodell didn't do. Domestic violence. I don't want to hear anybody complain about Roger. Because remember, if you open Pandora's box and you compromise his power, you therefore compromise his ability to alleviate the problem because you have challenged his authority. So the same people that sitting up here thinking about Tom Brady, but tacitly go about the business of expressing how it's bigger than Tom Brady, there's bigger issues, and Roger Goodell's power needs to be compromised. Remember what you said, Just because curtailed. I don't want to hear anything yeah, okay. when other dudes get in trouble and Roger Goodell can't do anything about it because the power has been stripped. Okay. I don't want to hear it. Well, obviously, I'm not saying it. the Supreme Court would throw out every rule in the National Football League so every player could smoke dope uh, to his 
life's content. You know, like, come right. on now. No. But, but wait a minute. But what you are saying is that if Tom Brady, if Roger Goodell loses this case because of what Demora Smith is doing, and therefore Demora Smith, I'm sorry, Roger Goodell's power is, is, is limited and compromised, you have now opened Pandora's box to anything being adjudicated or whatever the case may be, and you now have a problem on your okay. hands no. because you don't have order. Okay, and no. that's the issue. Right now, he is, to use the cliche, judge, jury, executioner. He has uncontrolled power to, to rule as, as his lone sole arbitrator. He is the arbitrator. You, and you know what? In the 11th hour of that last collective bargaining agreement, they gave up this power to him, and they should not have. They could win it back at the Supreme Court level. You they know could what? do what the they should have the done before. Line is, the bottom line is this whole stuff about Roger Goodell's power is a crock. It's nonsense. Here's where the power lies in the 32 owners who employ him and have given him in excess of $35 million a year over the last several years. That's where the power lies. They just use the commissioner to hide behind so they're not being talked about and they're not held accountable. But we all know where the power lies. The golden rule is those with the gold makes the rules. And the owners are the ones with the gold because they don't cash checks, they cut them. And in, the rea in the reality, that's what they actually they do both. They cash their own, plus they cut them. The point that I'm trying to make to you is that's their situation. So Roger Goodell is being, as far as I'm concerned, everybody pointing at him where we should be looking at the 32 owners. And in the end, that's where Demora Smith is going. Fair enough. But when you get what you want, assuming you pull it off and you do get what you want, because I'm not so sure you will, remember Pandora's box that you're open. Because I'm not going to be the one complaining uh, uh, about, about what the players get away with. Y'all are. Mm. All right. We got to get to break now. So far, $23 million have been spent on this case in legal fees, an estimated amount there. It's ridiculous. You know who else is a must-follow on Twitter besides these two now? Jim Harbaugh. He's taking shots at Nick Saban on Twitter. We will tell you why. Two of the best coaches in college football are not getting along. That is next. Another hour of First Take coming up. We did it on our own.